The third day of thriftiness will be insanity. Don't cancel me. You know, legend has it that the timeline of my hair is more complicated than the timeline of the X-Men franchise. And I think that it's true. My hair has been through a lot and it's beyond a joke at this point. I'm having fun and by the end of thriftmas, you guys will see me have a complete transformation, a total reset. I've booked myself a hair appointment for December 24th. A little bit of a Christmas present for myself. I'm going to have a treatment, cut and colour and I'm planning on going very, very short. So why don't I experiment and do some crazy, crazy things to it that no sane person would ever contemplate doing. Why would I do such a thing? For views. You're here, aren't you? So this is how my hair looks at the moment and it's come to this thanks to me dyeing my hair rainbow using every shade of Arctic Fox hair dye, then taking every single shade of Arctic Fox hair dye, mixing them all together to make hair soup and dyeing it on this side, which has now turned out to be a little bit purple. I left you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger in a, one of my other videos and people have been asking what happened? What did you do? I realised it wasn't quite interesting enough to make an entire video about, so I may as well just tell you now. I took the fire truck red colour and I just put it over the top of absolutely everything. It was bizarre because after three or four washes, the red stayed up here, as you can see, but it disappeared from this side and this side, and the purple was still underneath it, the pink, the yellow, the green, the blue, it was all still underneath the red, which surprise me beyond belief. I don't know how hair science works and I'm not destined to find out. All we do on this channel is commit hair atrocities. Speaking of which, I've been wanting curtain bangs for quite some time. And I was on TikTok the other day and I came across a Brad Mondo tutorial. Maestro Mondo over here has a two-part tutorial on how to cut curtain bangs. The first part has 10.8 million views. Curtain bangs seem to be the hottest trend going on right now. Everybody is cutting their own curtain bangs. Me. And sometimes it doesn't go that well. It's actually quite a simple thing to do. And I'm going to show you today just how you do it. And hopefully it goes well for you. And if it, it doesn't, works. don't blame me. Because you probably did something wrong. You're going to need a comb. One with very close teeth and one with separated teeth like this. I have one of those. Aha! Something that actually cuts your not kitchen scissors. So not these scissors? Dog grooming shears it is. Also a couple clips, but you can also use a scrum tree. And then you can wet your hair or you can use a spray bottle to wet your hair. Is it water or is it alcohol? You'll never know. <laughs> Man after my own heart. I hope I haven't lost you quite yet. We're gonna take the bangs yeah. back about two or three inches. Up to you, depending on how thick you want them. And depending on how thin your hair is naturally. I'm gonna go about two inches back, take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. So you should have this little triangle section right here. It doesn't look like a triangle. It looks like a square. The triangle I have provided is the same sort of triangle I would have drawn in primary school, but that's fine. So we're gonna hold our scissors like this. We are actually gonna take this entire section in one. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, but we're trying to make this easy. Hang on, go back. Hold them like what? Oh. Oh, interesting. The ring finger is the one through the hole. Not, not two like this. He's done it like that. 
fascinating. Too long, too short, you can't go longer. I learned that the hard way. Right the nose, and I am the going to runners. cut. I am going to cut. I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna recomb it, and I am going to cut another. And I'm gonna take a strand from each end and just make sure they are the same exact length on both sides. We can always perfect our work once we're done, okay? You know me, can't. Not if you're me. There's no such thing as perfecting anything in my life. It's not physically possible. She's already looking banging. You're gonna add a little bevel. Pick up the hair. I comb it parallel to the parting, and then I hold my fingers parallel to the parting. So now I'll cut off. Oh my god! Fingers. Sorry, what? So now. Was that even in English? <laughs> my brain just did not. I didn't comprehend a single thing he just said. We are going to add a little bevel. Pick up the hair, I comb it parallel to the parting, and then... I comb it parallel to the parting. Oh, I see. Ah. I hold my fingers parallel to the parting, so now I'll cut off those longer pieces. So now when we let go, it naturally is going to the side like that. And that is how you do a gorgeous you know, seeing as I watched that in slow motion and then I paused it, I have noticed something. Something that never occurred to me until this moment. The way that hairdressers use their fingers is different to the way that us mortals do. So look at Brad's finger. If you look at my hand placement, my middle finger is on top, but he's got the index finger on the top. Fascinating, because then he puts pressure on the index finger downwards which then kicks this upwards. It makes so much sense because I was holding it like this and I, the, the hair was going like that, downwards. So if I'd cut it like that, it, I probably wouldn't have been able to get on the right angle because my fingers are in the way. But you reverse your finger. Oh my God, I feel like I've just learnt something that I shouldn't know. Okay. Hand is like this, comb is like this, fingers like this, and he's cutting downwards like this. Except his scissors are actually cutting. That did nothing. Uh huh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh shit. Oh. F Tell me part two is gonna fix this. Oh, you're doing a great job. I can see you following along and I am so damn proud of you. I am now gonna just blow dry her hair and then we're gonna go in and detail the bangs. I'm just gonna throw in some electric green moisture cream just to rehydrate her ends. And we're gonna use force field heat shield. This is gonna help her style last all day, all night and throughout the week. All right, and now we're ready to blow dry. Okay, we are gonna use a one and a half inch ceramic round brush. You can also use a flat brush for this. I am just gonna take the hair, lay it right on top of the brush and blow it downwards and out. I'm just gonna do a quick little and I'll bring the hair to one side and blow dry it and then the other side and blow dry it. Okay, and it should look something like this. You can brush or comb the bangs back and then part them. Action out those bangs again. Bring them all the way up to the top and now just be careful and cut into the hair. This will slightly give you some separation on the ends of your hair and just going down at a slant and slowly cutting out some of that hair. So now what's gonna really escalate this look and finish it all off is some styling. Let me put some waves in her hair. And here is the final look. I'm obsessed. So cute. Look at the way the bangs just seamlessly blend into the head. That is exactly what you want to try to achieve when you do this to yourself. Look at the way it carves out her bone structure. Are you kidding me? Stop, you're doing too much. If you end up giving us a try, please make a video or send me a photo. I would just love to see what you do. blame Brad. I can only blame myself. No matter how slowly I watched his tutorial, I still f***ed it up. I guess I'm destined to never have curtain bangs. Because every single time I try to cut my own fringe, somehow it ends up too short and I look like I'm wearing a bowl on my head. The only thing I can think to do now to 
ever so slightly salvage this situation is to dye my hair Sahara Rose and give myself a bob. What can I say? Beth Harmon is an icon. So I think I'm gonna take about this much off. It's not quite a bob, but I have a little bit of a plan. So I'm filming Thriftmas right now. Oh, and you guys are probably wondering, what has this hair dye video got to do with thrifting? Because for the whole month of December, I'm posting videos about thrifting. Well, the dress that I'm wearing, thrifted. The nightgown I was wearing in the intro, thrifted and the outfit that I end up putting on after I've cut my hair and uh, after I've dyed it will also be thrifted. So there you go, that's my workaround. That's how I'm working thrifting into the hair content. So my plan for thriftiness is every Friday I'm going to do something to my hair. Today is Friday the 3rd of December and I'll be dyeing my hair Sahara Rose which is the colour that we dyed Sam's hair and as I remember from that video it's actually very 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 red. So I'm really excited to do that. I've been wanting to use that colour ever since Sam used it. Then next Friday the 10th I'm going to do something else. On Friday the 17th I will do something else and then on Friday the 24th of December I have my appointment at the hair salon and if the lovely hairdresser looks at my hair and says hun there is no saving this I guess we'll just shave it off. So here's the colour I'm going to be using today. This is Sahara Rose by Hello Bubble. I got this on Yes Style. Hello Bubble is definitely my favourite hair dye to use because it's a foam and it makes it really, really, really easy. You just pour the two sachets into the bottle, give it a little bit of a swirl and then pump it out and you apply the foam like you would with shampoo. No, this is not a sponsorship, but I do have an affiliate link for this stuff. If you buy it off Yes Style, I'll make commission. And if you're like me and you really, truly cannot be bothered to like part your hair, something like this, it's so dead easy. It's literally just put it on, lather it up, cover your whole head. The fact that this is what I would look like if I shaved my head makes me really want to do it. A pixie cut or something. I would love that. All right, so now that I've covered my whole head in Sahara Rose, I'm gonna wait for half an hour or so, or maybe an hour, I don't know, depends how distracted I get, and then we're gonna rinse it off and uh, Sam and Michelle are coming over. Where are you? Oh, I'm Hello. so sorry. I've left you down here for like an hour. How long has it been? No, like, no. like literally. We thought you were napping. This is no. new camera, what's yes. this? Oh, this is my new vlogging camera. I got it just for thriftness, so oh. I can pull it out and shove it in my friend's face as they come nice. I love your outfit. I knew you would. I, literally, Michelle, I bought this skirt I bought this because of you. I, like, really? Yeah, I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm this, gonna get this, this and then mix to the shell. Yeah. So, and the cardigan too, I was like, I would wear both of these. Cardigan is danger field and the of skirt course. the skirt is like not branded. And it's look look what? at this look at it. Is this where because of you, Alex, is just gonna slowly transition into Michelle? Wait, I love this. I, I love the fabric. Yeah, yeah it's actually it's so soft. Wait, it's thick. Yeah. yeah, like I, I, I like you touched it and then I looked at it and I didn't need to touch it to be like, that yeah. looks thick. Yeah. It's holding its shape. Shit. It's been like two hours. I think I left this for way too long. I'm gonna have to wash my hair in the sink because I've just filmed a, a skincare video and I've just put all this really nice skincare on my face and I don't wanna get in the shower and wash it all off. So into the sink. Dan, I forgot to bring a towel. Thank you. Oh, I went to just do that thing that I normally do where I run my hair like this through the towel. And then I remembered all the comments that people left for me saying, don't do that, it's really bad for your hair. So thanks for the advice, guys. I shall just gently pat it dry. All right, so now that I've washed my hair out, I'm actually going to do a bit of a treatment to it. So one of my subscribers sent me a message and said if I'm looking for a good treatment, I should get Coco and Eve. So I bought it online and I'm gonna give it a try. This is really nice packaging. I've never used this before, but it's called Coco and Eve Like Virgin Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. Even they distribute a generous amount of product to towel dried hair, leave for five to 10 minutes and then rinse with warm water and use it one to two times a week. The box also comes with a tangle tamer brush, which is really nice. It's like this really smooth, soft, sort of silicony matte kind of material. It's really nice to hold and it's adorable colored too. And the set also came with a microfiber hair towel wrap. Oh, it smells so nice. So what do you reckon generous amount is? Like, like that? That's like half the product. Oh, it's so smooth, it's so creamy. Oh my God, I love this. Gee, that was a good recommendation. I don't even know if it's gonna leave my hair feeling good or not, but I'm already happy with this recommendation. I think I need more. 
because it I think it needs to really get in there and coat everything. I, I may even use the whole tub, who knows? We all know how fried my hair is, so I feel like there's no such thing as too much hair mask. So apparently you're supposed to use the little comb to like evenly apply the mask. And the packaging said the comb has unique two-tiered bristle technology. As in the bristles are two different lengths. <laughs> wow, science has gone too far. You know, people are always saying to me, Alex, your hair is so damaged, it's all gonna fall out. Well, that's not true. You're just a hater. You're just a hater. Oh, this is so cool. It's like, like a sort of pod shape. You look like Nobby. Look at the shape of this thing. It's kind of like a triangle and you sort of put this part around the back of your head, bend over, scoop all your hair up into it. There's this little thing here and there's a button on the back. Wow, this is so smart. Genius invention. Absolutely genius. I love this thing. All right, well, I need to leave my hair mask on for 10 minutes now. So we're gonna pick what we're gonna have for dinner. So what are we having? That would be my hair mask. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, you're just blown away by the smell. By the so I can smell it too now. It's, <laughs> wow, that, it's really not good. Wait. That's, that you literally smell smells. My, smell my finger. What? <laughs> that, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, that actually smells like a jewelry polish product. You're joking. Yesterday. Yeah. It's like I was like, that smells feed. so familiar. I said oh it smells God, nice. Crying. <laughs> crying. You guys really don't like the smell, do you? <laughs> Um, so what are we having? I'm getting a purple drink. What? What? A purple drink. A purple drink? It just it's says purple, purple dog He shape. won't share it with me. Why? It doesn't say what it is, it just says, would you like a purple doll? It doesn't tell you what the fuck it is. It just is. says purple it drink? It just says purple it's dolce, purple. and then the price. It's bright purple. Well, let's give it a try. It's like taro. Signature purple dolce. Mysterious purple drink! With nothing else written about it. Oh, oh look at the little tiny She's like, belly, Alex. Belly. The belly. Belly. There's a donut maple glazed bacon Donut burger. What? Yeah. Donut? Donut? Do they serve yeah, like that? Keep going. Do they yeah. serve it on a donut? Bacon donut. Yeah, What's, they're just kind of yeah. donut. Oh, can yeah. you order that for me? I want that. So oh my god. Hard. Can I just say, look at look at his ear and your hair. You guys are equally majestic gingers. <laughs> look, look at him. Look, he looks like a maiden. So cute. <laughs> look at his beautiful locks. Although he does have chicken poo dried onto him. <laughs> so yeah, we don't won't love him too much. We won't talk about that. Okay. Oh my god, Michelle, your necklace. Is it Sam, is this the one you made? You bet it is. Holy oh. shit! Sam, this is incredible! Are you gonna sell this? Uh no, limited edition one of a kind. Oh, just for Never Michelle. Be I'm, kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. He will be selling it. Yes. Not not the one you're wearing? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can and, um, drag I'm it off my what is it, my dead, dead daddy. daddy. Yes, yeah, that's it! <laughs> Sam! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let's Marvin glaze and get it on. Kill the dogs. Let's Marvin glaze and get it on. Dogs don't eat it. No, you're like eat it. Mm. Oh my god! Oh fuck! What does it taste like? It doesn't even taste remotely purple. What the fuck is purple meant to taste like, Alex? Elves and unicorns <laughs> mixed together into a cup. Unicorns. <laughs> I've had this hair mask on for eight hours. I've worked out exactly where I went wrong 
and it was all in the positioning of my fingers because I've ended up with a longer bit in the center than what I had on the sides. I'm gonna give this one last try. And now all there is left to do is hope and pray that my hair, skin and nails vitamins help to grow this fringe back out. I swear, I will have curtain bangs one day. I'm really happy with this Coco and Eve stuff. My hair feels very nice and you know, I did indeed leave it on for eight hours and I think that's the best thing I could possibly have done with my hair. Usually at the end of my hair videos, I like to uh, blow dry and style my hair and put on some makeup and do a grand reveal, but it's 4.30 in the morning. I haven't been to bed yet and I need to upload this video that I'm filming right now. So come back tomorrow for Thriftmas day four to see what all of this looks like when it's properly styled.